Right, welcome to the first electronics tutorial. Um, this one is going to be predominantly based around resistors, resistor color codes, working out the values, tolerances, etc. Okay, in front of me I have a number of resistors. They should be all the same value. If we look at them, we can identify this particular resistor by the color bands on it. If we start the opposite end of the gold, you can see, or hopefully you can see, that we have brown, black, brown, gold. That's brown, black, brown, gold. Now, what do they represent? Well, if we have a little look online, and I typed in to Google resistor color code chart, brought up a simple color code here, we can see that we have brown, the first one represents number one. We have black, representing a zero. Then we have brown again, which represents the multiplier. Now the multiplier in this case is times 10. However, just think about it as the number of zeros that you add in. So if brown is a one, we add one zero on the end. And then finally we have gold, brown, black, brown, gold. Gold is 5%. So looking at that, we have brown, black, brown, gold. That means brown is a one, black is a zero, brown is the, th the third one, third band is the number of zeros, in that case brown was one, so one zero, and then gold is plus or minus five percent, which means this resistor should be a 100 ohm resistor, and that is the Greek symbol for omega, plus or minus a five percent tolerance. 5% of 100 is of course 5, therefore this resistor should be 100 minus 5, ranging up to 100 plus 5 ohms. So it should fall within the range 95 to 105 ohms. Now, let's check it. We can use this piece of equipment here. This is known as a multimeter, digital multimeter in this case. It's an auto-ranging one which means that it will measure voltage, current, resistance, etc. and it will select its own levels. So I'm going to turn it on to the ohm sign, which means it's now ready to read the value of the resistor. So I'm going to clip on to one of the resistors, black and red, doesn't matter which way round it goes with resistors. And when I turn it on, it is absolutely spot on 100 ohms. Just for argument's sake, I'm going to clip onto another resistor here because I'd like to show you something. And this resistor is 100.3. And in the corner, you can see that it's got the little symbol there for the ohm. So 100.3 ohms. Does that fall within the tolerance? Well, yes, it falls within the 95 to 105. So therefore, that is a good resistor. Let's have a little look at another resistor. The next one is this one here. Now, hopefully you can see this one is brown, black, orange, gold. Now that actually is the same as the first two, brown and black, on the previous resistor. The third one, the multiplier, is now orange, as opposed to the brown. So if we look at our color code chart, we can see that the orange is multiplied by 1000. So we have brown, 1, black, 0, orange, times a 1,000, which means it has three zeros and then the gold again. So, brown, black, orange, 1, 2, 3, ohms, plus or minus 5%. So that is a 10K thousand ohm resistor. So let's plug that one in to our multimeter. And you can see that this reads 9.93 9 ohms. Now the K is the thousand. If we move that forward three decimal places, that is 9930 ohms. Does that fall within our tolerance? Well, 5% of 10,000, of course, is 500. So this should be 10,000 plus or minus 500 ohms, which means it should fall within 9,500 ohms 
up to 10,500 ohms. Does it fall within tolerance? Yes, it does. So again, this is a good resistor. Next. This resistor has the color code yellow, violet, orange. So we have yellow, violet, orange. What value should this be? Yellow is four, violet is seven, and orange is times a thousand or three zeros. Therefore, it should be four, seven, zero, zero, zero. So it should be 47,000 ohms. So if we clip onto there, have a little look at the value. And it reads 46.4 kilo ohms. You can just see the little K in the corner next to the ohm sign. So it should have been 47000 ohms. It reads 46.4 K ohms, which is 46. 400 ohms. So we are approximately 600 ohms difference. Now, does that fall within the tolerance? Well, quite clearly it does. Obviously, the larger the larger the value of the resistor, the 5% tolerance becomes a bigger value in itself. Okay, let's do one more. I'm going to move up to this one here, and this one has the color code yellow violet yellow yellow violet yellow so what is that yellow is four violet is seven yellow is again four so yellow violet yellow gives us four seven and four more zeros which means that this should be a 470,000 ohm resistor which can also be written 470 K ohms. Now, if we were to clip on to the resistor and take a measurement, it says on the multimeter, multimeter 0.468 M ohms. You can just see the, the M in the top right hand corner next to the ohm. Now, the M stands for mega. Mega is a million. So we can convert this number by moving the decimal point forward six places because a million has six zeros. So it now becomes four, six, eight, zero, zero, zero. The decimal point started there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 468,000 ohms, which is the same as 0.468 million ohms, which is the same as 468k ohms. All of these numbers are the same, whether it be written like number one, number two, or number three. Okay, certainly it falls within tolerance. Now, what do we need to know about resistors? If we have a look at this chart here, we buy all our resistors based on the E24 resistor series. As you can see, the smallest value here is 1 ohm, and the largest value is 9.1 m ohms, 9.1 million ohms. But quite clearly, there isn't. 9.1 million ohms going up in one ohm increments and you can see that the resistor values start to jump for example they go from 39,000 to 43,000 that's a jump of 4,000 ohms here they go from 3.3 million ohms to 3.6 million ohms that is a jump of 0.3 million ohms or 300,000 ohms there is no need for resistors to come in 1 ohm increments. The E24 series actually jumps in multiples of 10. So along the top it goes 1 ohm, 10 ohms, 100 ohms, 1000 ohms, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million. 
and likewise across all of the rows. That's because it's not critical in electronics, or at least rarely, to have exact values of resistors. That's why we tend to buy resistors with 5% tolerances. Let's have a quick look at buying resistors. This is Rapid Electronics, this is their catalogue. We tend to buy a lot of our resistors from them and you can see that these resistors, in this case, are CR50s. They are 0.5 watt. That's the amount of heat that they can dissipate, the amount of power, if you like. Carbon film resistors. We'll come on to the, those values later on. But if we look here, when we buy resistors, as you can see, we buy them in strips and in fact we buy them in boxes of a thousand you can see that if we buy resistors 50 of them or more at a time they cost 81p 0.81 of a pound so they only cost about one and a half p each not very expensive and probably the cheapest of all the electronic components finally very useful if you type into google resistor color code calculator you will be able to come up with, there are many examples of this, this little calculator here. So for example, that last resistor that we looked at was yellow, violet, yellow, and then if I calculate the value, it comes up at the bottom 470,000 ohms or 470 kilo ohms. So it will give you that value. Here ends first tutorial. Thank you.